Hi everybody, welcome to lab number two, uh, SSH configuration. In the first lab, I mean in lab number one, control administrative access to routers. So what we have done means, uh, we access the, rem uh, the router, okay, remotely by using two concepts. So the first one is called the console. By using the console, how you can access your uh, router, then by using the telnet. Okay, that means uh, line VTY. So by using the uh, line VTY, that means by using the telnet, how you can access your people, uh, your routers. Actually, we used first we use the uh, just a password. Then we discussed okay how to use a username and password. Okay, so this is what we uh, discussed in the first lab. Now, if you take a telnet, so telnet protocol is not a secured protocol. Okay, it is not a very secure protocol. It is a plain text protocol or we can say it is a clear text protocol. So here uh, in Telnet, all the data, whatever you are sending, either username or password or whatever the data, the commands. So whatever you send, it is going to be sent in the form of a plain text. Okay, it is going to be an unencrypted one. So any attacker, okay, in between you and your router, they can capture your packets. Okay, easily they can uh, capture your packets and they can read what is available inside there. So they may know your passwords, they may come to know your uh, passwords, your usernames, everything they can capture. So what we are going to do means as a next step, we are going to use a SSH protocol we are going to use for remote access. So SSH protocol is a secured protocol. Here, whatever the data you are sending, okay, including your username or password, okay, your data, everything will be encrypted here okay it will be clearly encrypted and here it is going to use rsa protocol okay that means rsa encryption it is going to use encryption algorithm so which is a public key encryption by using rsa so all your data will be encrypted here now so in this lab okay so what is a task so what we are going to do means so before that let us see the topology diagram so this is the topology diagram we are going to use it here uh, four networks as usual and the ip address plan is also clearly given here so you can follow the same plan okay then it will be easy for you to practice so this is the 10 network okay so the entire one is a 10 network and this is the 20 network and here this is the 30 network and 40 network so there are four networks available here 10 20 30 40 and we are going to do the SS, SSH configuration on router 1. Now, so task. So what are the things we are going to do here? Okay, the steps means. So first we are going to configure an IP address for the interface VLAN 1. Okay, we are going to take the interface VLAN 1 in the switch and we are going to fix an IP address for it. Okay, this is step number 1. So next one, we are going to enable the SSH protocol in both the switch and the router. Okay, so that is going to be the second step. Then we are going to change the default name. Okay, in order to enable the SSH. So you have to change the default name of your switch and router. So we are going to change that. And we are going to create a domain name. Okay, a domain name should be created on a switch and also on the router. Then, so generate or SA keys. It is not or AS, or SA keys. Okay, we are going to create the or SA keys on the switch and router then we are going to create an admin user on the switch and the router then we are going to configure the vty okay so for remote access with the ssh we are going to create on the switch and the router then we are going to save our configuration all the configurations we are going to save it and finally we are going to try a remote login from the switch and also from the router okay and you are going to check how it is going to work so these are the steps okay nine different steps available so you can take a switch first you can completely do everything then you can take the router then you can follow all the steps okay so this is uh, how you can do it now so let me go to the packet tracer so in packet tracer i'm going to now so i'm in packet tracer now so i already created the topology and also the IP address, okay, I already configured the IP address and also the routing protocols, okay, all the routing protocol, that means uh, RIP protocol only I'm going to use it here, 
So the protocol is already enabled. Now I want to test the connectivity. Just we can check the connectivity. So whether the topology is working or not. So let me go to the server. From the server, I'm just going to give the ping command ping 40.0.0.1. So that means I'm going to ping this particular PC. Okay. So let me ping this PC and I want to check whether uh, the connectivity, okay, everything is working properly or not. So let me check. So reply is coming. Reply I'm getting from 40.0.0.1. So there is no problem. So there is a logical connection available between uh, these two machines and the topology is properly working. Now, so the next step, we have to configure the SSH protocol. So first, let me configure in the switch. Okay, let me configure in the switch. Then I'm going for the router. Okay, so in both we are going to configure the SSH protocol. That means I want to access this switch. Okay, as a remote from the remote from this machine, I want to access this switch. I want to enter into the switch and I want to do some configuration inside the switch. But I want to use a SSH protocol. Okay, by using SSH, I want to enter into this switch. Same, I want to enter into the router by using the SSH and I want to do some configuration inside the router. Okay, this is the concept. Now, let me go to the switch first. Now, just click on the switch zero. Uh, go to the CLI, command line interface. Okay, so you are now inside the switch. So almost you can see the same thing like a router. Okay, it is going to be the same thing like a router. So I'm inside the switch. So this is called the user mode. Okay, you are in the user mode now. Now, from the user mode, so I'm going to the privilege mode. Okay, I'm using the command enable, but there is no password, nothing here. Okay, it is not configured. Now, I'm in the uh, privilege mode now, enable. Now, I'm going to the config terminal. So config terminal is a global configuration mode. So I am now in the global configuration mode. Then, Next, the first step. What is the first step means? As far as the switch is concerned, you are not going to do this in the router. Okay, don't do this in the router, only in the switch. So I'm going to configure an IP address for the interface VLAN 1. Okay, interface VLAN 1. We are going to fix some IP address. Now I'm just going to take the interface, interface VLAN. Okay, virtual LAN 1. You might have already studied about this VLAN concepts in uh, introduction to routing and switching course. Now I'm going for interface VLAN 1. Okay, I am interface VLAN 1. So I'm going to fix the IP address. So IP address. So what is IP address means? So this is 10.1, 10.10 is your, sorry, 10.2. This is going to be our router. Now I'm going to use 10.3. Okay, you have to use only 10 network. You are in the 10 network now. So I'm using 10.0.0.3. Okay, this is going to be the IP address for this machine. 10.0.0.3. Then the next one, it is a subnet mask. So subnet mask is a uh, class A. This is a class A IP address. So subnet mask is 255.0.0.0. Okay, this is the IP address. Then the next command is no shutdown. Okay, if you give the no shutdown, then only the interface will become on. So I'm giving no shutdown command. Okay, so no shutdown. I just Okay, gave the no shutdown. Now it is configured. Then uh, this is step number one. Okay, step number one. Now the next step is going to be I'm just going to uh, exit. I'm just coming out. Okay, so now I'm in the global configuration mode. So the next step is so you have to uh, change the name of the switch. Okay, the default name. What is the default name given here is switch is the name but you must change the name of the uh, switch. Okay, the default name you have to change. So now how you can change the name of the switch means you have to use the command host. Okay, so host is the, okay, the name I'm going to use. Uh, here you can type any name after host, whatever the name you are giving. So that, that is going to be the name of your switch. So host, I'm giving computer security. Okay, so computer security, I'm giving computer security. So now you can see the name of your uh, router is changed. Now, the next step is we have to create, okay, we have to create a domain name here. The same set of steps you are going to repeat in the router also, except that VLAN. Okay, you have to do everything in the router also. Okay, now the next step is going to be create a domain name. Okay, how you can create a domain name means 
I'm going to create a domain name IP. Okay, so domain name, domain hyphen name. Now, domain name I'm going to create, for example, uh, CAS College of Applied Science dot com. Okay, this is my domain. Okay, you can fix any domain name. I'm just fixing CAS dot uh, com. Okay, I'm giving then. So the next one, okay, your domain name is created. Then the next one is I want to generate the keys. Okay, I'm going to create the keys. Here we are going to use the encryption. All your uh, data, whatever the data transfer, okay, from X to Y by using SSH. So it is going to be completely, it, it will be encrypted by using the RSA, okay, algorithm. So I want to generate the keys now, okay. Now let me go for the uh, keys, okay. I'm going to generate the keys. So what is the command means? Crypto, crypto, key, generate, G-E-N-E-R-A-T-E, -E -E, generate. So the name of the algorithm is RSA, okay. RSA is the name of the algorithm. Now, so let me just enter it now it is asking you to fix the length the length of the key okay you can see here crypto key generate rsa so the name for the keys will be computer security dot cas dot com okay computer security it is going to be take okay it is going to take it as a name okay so computer security is the name it is taking in the domain cas dot com then so the next one choose the size of the key modules from 360 to 2048 so the length of the key you can select so from 360 bits to 2048 bits okay you can choose any length okay the length of the keys you can fix then general purpose keys choosing the key modules greater than 512 may take few minutes so if you take the key more than 512 it is going to take more time to generate the keys so if the length of the key is increasing automatically it will take time to generate okay more time so what i'm going to do let me choose only 512 i'm not going more than that so 512 bits of keys i want to create now i'm just going to give enter now you can see generating 51 bits of rsa key key will be okay non exportable you cannot take the key from here you cannot copy the key from here okay the public key private key you cannot copy anything so just okay the key is created so this is the uh, the next step creating the keys now i'm going to create a uh, username so already we have done this is this step in the previous lab okay that means in lab number one so what does that means creating a username okay now let me uh, create a username here i'm going for user name okay username so what is the name of the user means i'm going to create as admin admin so i'm going to give the password so directly if you give password it is not going to be encrypted but here i'm going to use secret password so secret so the password i'm going to use okay one two three four five is the password i'm going to use it so please kindly note down so admin is the name of your user then the password is going to be one two three four five okay it is going to be your password so we created the domain first we change the name of the switch then we created the domain we created the keys then we created a user the name of the user is admin with the password one two three four five then the next is okay we have to enable the vty okay that means the virtual connection line vty with ssh okay with ssh we have to create okay now i'm just going to enter here so the username is created now so configure vty with ssh okay that is the next step so line vty zero to four okay i'm giving 0 to 4 login local okay login local now transport okay this already we have done in lab number one okay line vty 0 to 4 that means five connections you can have okay remote connections you can have at the same time and you have used the login local command also but now with this i want to enable the ssh protocol okay so line vty we are now enabling with okay uh, ssh protocol so transport transport okay input ssh okay so this is the term so anybody can enter into your switch by using a remote login but 
they are going to use only the SSH protocol. Only through the SSH protocol, they can input. So SSH, okay, transport, input, SSH, okay, and it's completed. Now I'm going to give exit. So we have almost, we have done all the uh, configuration. We have already, okay, almost complete. Now, so the next step, you can copy this. You can copy, you can save this configuration, whatever the configuration you have done, you can copy, okay. So the command is copy, run name. Okay, so this is the command to save the configuration. Okay, from the running configuration to the startup configuration, you are going to save STARTUP. So, startup configuration. So, now all the changes it is saved now. Then the next one is we have to check it. Okay, so we created okay line VTY that means we created the virtual access, uh, the remote access we enabled, but only through the SSH. So already SSH also you have configured, okay, you created the key. So everything is now properly okay. So now you have to check. So how to check it, check means I'm just going to close the switch. So just complete it, exit, complete, okay, exit. Okay, so just keep it in this space, position, get return to stop. Now I'm going for, okay, I'm going for this server. So from this server, I'm going to make a remote login. I want to enter into the switch by using SSH command. Okay, by using SSH protocol. So now I just click the server. I'm going for the command prompt. Okay, I'm going for the command prompt. Now I'm in the C drive. That means I am in the PC. Now, so what is the command I have to use mains? Okay, you can see previously we used a telnet. So if you use telnet, it is not going to work. Okay, telnet. So the IP address of VLAN. Okay, we created VLAN, so 10.0.0.3, okay, so I'm giving the IP address, so it is not going to, okay, open. So telnet is not going to open now, but now, okay, what we have to do, you have to use the command SSH command. So now SSH, okay, this is the command, hyphen L, okay, hyphen L, so you have to give the username and password. So what is the username means, so the username is admin. Okay, not password. Okay, I'm just giving that name. Then you have to give the IP address. So IP address is 10.0.0.3. So this is very important. Okay, syntax. So many students, they used to do, okay, mistake in this. So SSH, hyphen L, admin is the name of the user. Then the, the, then the IP address, IP address of, okay, the VLAN. That means the IP address of the switch. So now I'm just going to enter. So this is a command we have to give. So it is asking for the password. So the password is one, two, three, four, five, but I'm going to give some different password, five, four, three, two, one, I'm giving. So now let me see, okay. So login invalid. So password is not correct. So let me give one, two, three, four, five is the password I'm giving now. So now you can see I enter into the switch. Computer security is the switch. I enter into the switch. So this is how we can enable the SSH protocol. So what is the difference between the previous one and this one means you are going to, that means the lab one and lab two, you are going to enter into a switch or a router by using a remote login concept. But here you are going to use the SSH protocol. So once if you use the SSH protocol, anything, whatever the communication between these two machines, that means from 10.0.0.1 to switch 0. So whatever the packets moving here, it will be completely encrypted by using, okay, RSA encryption technique. Now, the same thing I'm going to enable, okay, I'm going to enable, okay, the SSH here in the router and I'm going to enable the VTY with SSH, okay, and we are going to check it. Now, I'm just going to the router. So click the router, go to the CLI command line interface. So we are now inside the router now command line interface now the first command is enable okay the first command is enable so here you there is no vlan okay there is no vlan already ip address is available here already this side 10.0.0.2 here it is 20.0.0.1 okay already ip address is fixed here so you no need to configure any ip address here there is no vlan concept here in the router there is no vlan concept only in the switches now, I am in the, okay, um, inside the router, I gave you enable. So that means I am in the privilege mode now. There. So the next one, the first step, you have to change the name of your router. 
okay so go to the global configuration mode so config terminal so i am in the global configuration mode so i am going to change the name of the router so it is a host i am going to give so network security okay this is just for example i am taking netsec so i am giving network security is the name of the router then the next step is going to be creating the uh, domain name so ip domain name okay so ip domain name net.com okay i am giving net.com so you can change if you want to do some changes here you can do any changes okay ip domain name so i am giving net.com so here let it be sur.com i am giving sur.com okay so this is the name of the domain then the next one we have to create the keys so crypto okay crypto key generate g e n e r a t e generate so r s a okay this is the key okay you are generating this is a command to generate the key so i'm going to use only 512 okay bits 512 okay so 512 bits key i'm generating so while doing this lab you can try with the different okay the different length of the key you can try okay go for okay 1024 okay even 2048 you can try and you can see how much of time it takes now i'm just going to generate the key so the key will be generated so key is now properly generated so the next step is i'm going to create a username okay now let me create a username okay user name so the name of the user okay i'm going to have let it be uh, raja i'm having so this is the name of the user then secret so password i'm going to use okay so 1 2 3 we, are, we don't have any password like policy okay that minimum length we have not fixed you can use anything so password i'm going to use let it be a b c d e is the password i'm going to use so we created the username and password so username is raja so password is a b c d e so please note down okay whenever you are creating any username and password please kindly make a note so otherwise you will you will forget and okay then <coughs> finding <coughs> excuse me so then you have to again you have to find it so it's a waste of time so a b c d e okay that is the password raja is a username now the next step is we have to enable the line vty so line uh, vty uh, 0 to 4 okay now i'm giving the command login local login local so here we are going to define the transport should be only ssh so transport t-r-e-n-s-p-o-r-t -E so transport input ssh okay transport input ssh then exit okay so next step you can save all the changes okay whatever the changes you have done you can save it so what is the command copy running config c o e n f i g c o e n a f i g running config startup config okay startup config so all the changes whatever the changes you are making so it will be saved so configuration is over we have to check it now so what i'm going to now do now i'm going to take this pc so from pc 0 okay that means from 40.0.0.1 i want to make a remote login to this uh, device to the uh, router by using ssh protocol okay by using the ssh protocol i'm going to do it so now let pc 0 go to the desktop go to the command prompt so we already know the command so what is the command means ssh okay this is the command hyphen l okay hyphen l now the name of the user okay so the name of the user is okay raja this is the name of the user ssh hyphen l space the name of the user is raja okay so raja is the name of the user and you need to give the ip address okay so what is ip address means you can see the ip address from here 20.0.0.1 okay this is the ip address 
So I'm going to use IP address 20.0.0.1 is an IP address I'm going to use. Now I'm just going to enter. So it is asking the password. So password is A B C D E is the password. So A B C D E is the password. So if I enter the password, now you can see I just enter into the router. So N E T S E C Network Security is the name of the router. So from PC zero. By using the SSH protocol, okay, I enter, I, I made a remote login, okay, I made a remote login, so into this route. So, this is how you can configure, okay, you can configure the SSH protocol in both the switch and the router. Thank you very much, keep watching.